I uh, was always a really big fan of like, do you, you ever listen to like Leo Kotke and guys like that? Mm-hmm. Love that kind of playing. It's just, it's just not something I studied when I was a kid, you know? Not easy. You know, no, amazing players. Yep. It's interesting once you kind of go down that path, uh, well, you know, everybody has kind of their thing that they do well. Yeah. Man, those acoustic blues guys that really get into it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh, like Steven, Steven Dahlberg. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Okay, guys, thank you for being here. We're doing another acoustic guitar workshop for you. My name is Dan Denley, founder of GuitarZoom.com, and this is my good friend, Steve Stein. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you, Dan? Good. Good. Guys, thank you so much for being here with us. This is, I think, I don't know. We have a lot of these videos that we've done for you. Acoustic Guitar Workshop. We are doing a whole series on the acoustic guitar. Thought that'd be something cool to do for you. Seems like everybody likes it so far. If you enjoy this, uh, if you enjoy acoustic guitar, you want to learn today, we're going to talk about acoustic blues basics, some finger picking and how to kind of get started with acoustic blues. Then keep watching. If you want to learn uh, acoustic guitar, uh, from A to Z, Steve has a new course that's called Acoustic Guitar by Steve Stein, and it's available at guitarzoom.com. So guys, uh, make sure that you subscribe and click the notify button to get notified of the next acoustic workshop series, we're gonna, or next video, so you can get notified if you enjoy these. And uh, they will be put together in a nice, tidy playlist. In fact, I'm looking at it right now on the Steve Stein YouTube channel. We have... Um, I think it's 11 videos on there right now that I'm looking at. We've got five tips every acoustic guitar sh guitar player should know. We've got three secrets every guitar player. Uh, sorry, three finger picking patterns for acoustic guitar. Uh, learn finger picking in 10 minutes. We've got top five strumming patterns, three easy finger picking patterns, creative chord ideas, playing with style, um, single note jam session, which was a really fun one to do top five acoustic chords and how to play acoustic licks between chord changes. And we just did one. Uh, the last one we just did was 12 bar blues. We've done one on ocean strumming. We've done one on bouncing. So there's a lot of great videos on there for you guys. This is called the acoustic guitar workshop. The playlist is there for you on the channel. And uh, today we're doing acoustic blues basics, finger picking. Take it away, my friend. <laughs> All right. So basically, yeah, I mean, I get a lot of people that ask about, you know, just doing some finger picking and adding licks. And so I want to keep this nice and easy. But basically, what you do is you build a bass line. And then you start learning how to add some licks into it. Now, again, I would keep it very straightforward to begin with until you get comfortable with it. But basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be taking that, that bass line, that repeating bass line. And I'm going to throw a lick in there. So like right here, what I'm doing is I'm playing the third fret, giving it just a little bit of a bend, and then I'm playing a zero. But notice how I'm playing it with the bass line. So I don't want to stop the bass line from going. I want to keep that going the whole time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to build a few different licks here. So the first one is going to be, then what we're going to do is we're going to move down to the second string and do exactly the same thing. Now, if you know anything about scales, what I'm actually doing is just taking some of these ideas straight out of the E minor pentatonic. If you don't know that scale, it's perfectly fine. You can just follow along with what we're doing here. But of course, I'll talk about all this stuff in the guitar course as well, how to play pentatonic and those sorts of things. So that's what I've got here is I'm adding in... And right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in kind of a turnaround lick that just kind of starts this whole little pattern on E all over again. And what I'm doing is I'm playing two on the fifth string, zero on the fourth string, and two on the fourth string. So I have... But when I'm doing that, of course, I still got my bass line going. So I'm playing both of those together. So I have...
and you can try different things. You see, I can add in different places, different notes, different things like that, different movements with different licks. Okay, so those are some ideas that you can do over the E. Love it, dude. Yeah. I love this kind of music too, because, well, I'm from Mississippi. <laughs> My mother to this day lives in Como, Mississippi, which is on the blues trail. If anybody's a hardcore blues fan, you there's this whole kind of trail you can go and wander through Mississippi and go through all the historical landmarks and stuff. And Como is actually there. Pretty cool place. Um, super cool, man. So we're talking about finger picking. I want to mention a couple of resources that I just thought of off the top of my head. Of course, Steve's new course, Acoustic Guitar, goes through all of this stuff, finger picking, scales, all of that. We also have another course, Steve, I don't know if you even remember this, but uh, the 36, uh, 36 Acoustic Licks mm -hmm. course. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. And um, that's also available for you guys there at Guitar Zoom. And then if you're a hardcore blues person, <clears throat> we have a course by a gentleman who's an expert in this style. His name is Steven Dahlberg. And uh, that's also available for you. That's called Acoustic Blues. And that course is available for you there at Guitar Zoom as well. Just when you get to the homepage, click on Shop. And then all of these are sorted by category. What else you got for us, my friend? I love this stuff. Yeah, so we're just going to take that idea and we're just going to move over to A. We're going to move to the four chord. So when the four chord comes up, instead of staying down here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move up and I'm going to start playing in the key of A minor pentatonic. Again, if you know that, if you don't, don't worry about it. But when I come up, so what I'm doing there is I'm making a little <laughs> melody along with my repeating bass line. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing eight, seven, five, and then five, six, five, or five, six, seven, excuse me. And then I repeat exactly the same thing. But my last note heads up to the fifth fret of the first string. So again, I'm just trying to, to end it, right? So if I have this playing and I add in then I can head back down. And I might end that. And I could drop back into. Right? However I'd like, so. Super cool, man. Guys, if you missed the uh, session that we done on the 12 Bar Blues, that's all. We just finished it uh, just the other day, and uh, you can check that out. It's on the playlist of the 12 Bar Blues. More traditional than what we're talking about today. Today is all about finger picking. Uh, that video is all about um, using the 12 Bar Blues just for simple strumming patterns. Today is a little more complicated. Don't worry if you're kind of like, oh, this looks hard, these licks and stuff, because this kind of is, it's harder than just strumming with your thumb, right? Because you got to get your 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 thumb to do the bass and then your fingers through the top. There's also a finger picking video that we did on which fingers go on which strings. You can check that out on the playlist. They were just kind of sticking with the blues licks and the simple uh, kind of droning bass. What else, man? Well, and then what I do, what I like to do with this is when I get to the five chord, which is the B, right? What I'll do is I'll just go there and do some traditional kind of picking to shake up the monotony so it's not just a bunch of random licks. Like when I get to B, I'll play a B7 and I might do a... And see how it shakes it up so it's not the same thing over and over and over. So I'm doing some licks over the one chord, which is the E. my five so I do a pattern 
A. And again, you'll notice that I'm doing some different things. Like with the B, I'm playing a bar chord, first of all, but I'm playing it as a B7, which just really sounds very bluesy. So when I go to the A chord, I do the same thing. I play it as a seven. And then sometimes I add in some notes of the pentatonic again. So there's some really cool stuff like that that you can do. So if I'm on the B, A, then E. Right? And the key with all this is, remember, depending on the situation you find yourself in, more isn't always better. Sometimes it's nice just to leave that bass line going and then add in. You know, it depends on what kind of sound you want. You can add more licks or less licks depending on what you have going on. So, love it, man. Such a cool style. Yeah. Where else do you want to take this? Well, that's kind of all I have for now on this is just learning how to think about, like, the, the couple things I want you to think about is how I took E and A, right? But what I did is instead of playing them just in one position, I looked at different places. So over E, I was essentially playing E minor pentatonic or E blues. But over the A, I went to, and this is kind of a next level, but when the went to the A, I went to A minor pentatonic or A minor blues. So I actually shifted keys over that four chord. So those are just things I want you to think about a little bit. You could play all of your licks in the same spot, but if I just sat and went, it's gonna sound the same, which might be cool, right? These are different things that you have to explore. So when you're practicing this stuff, you have to be able to, I mean, number one, you could just do what I just did, obviously. But number two, if you can visualize your chords and your scales at the same time, you can just explore different little ideas and take it slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you actually just reminded me of uh, another course that you have, Steve, called, you know, the caged system mm -hmm. of being able to take these chords and move them across a fretboard. The, C -A the, the open chords, guys, the C, A, G, E, and D chords can be moved across the entire fretboard. And uh, also there's chord chasing and um, things like that there's, that Steve goes over in that course. It's called Caged Made Simple. All of this, uh, guys, is covered in Steve's new course. It's called Acoustic Guitar. And it's about acoustic guitar from A to Z. Big, massive course. You can bounce around in it. You don't have to go straight through it, unlike some of the like, theory stuff and other things that Steve's done in the past where you kind of need to go sequentially. The Acoustic Guitar course, you can just pick out the parts that's most interesting to you. Like if you were interested in this finger-picking stuff that we're talking about today, you can go right to that. If you're interested in the chord progressions, learning how that works, go to that strumming patterns, strumming techniques, licks. It's all there for you. It's in the course called Acoustic Guitar by Steve Stein, available at guitarzoom.com. Anything else, my friend? No, that's all I got. This, this is just getting them started with doing some basic finger picking and then that ostinato bass line, learning how to do that. It takes a little while, and we're actually on the next uh, session that Dan and I do, we're actually going to elevate that idea into the pop music market. So Nice. Again, guys, all of it's available for you on the channel. Uh, all, the, all the acoustic guitar workshops that we've done, the course is available for you, Acoustic Guitar by Steve Stein at Guitar Zoom. Uh, please subscribe and no hit notify to get notified of the next acoustic workshop. And uh, we will see you in the next session. Thank you so much for being here. You have no idea how much it means to us. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yep, thank you, everybody. Take care. All right, see you, Steve. Thanks for being you, here, buddy. buddy. Yep, bye. Bye.